All right, we're at Teeth Outer Surfboards, and we're here to check this puppy out. It's just a basic fin mark, basic settings, nothing too crazy. But we're going to check it out today. Peel this off real quick. It's kind of nice how they got it scribed. We got your basic measurements. I do a three and a half and 11. And we got multi other numbers. This is for my five fin setup, just a five and a half. You got eight, eight and a half, nine, nine and a half, ten, ten and a half, and eleven. That's just my basic standards. Um, let's check it out. All right, a basic stock model. I'm going to set them. Normally, my stock measurements are three and a half and eleven. So three and a half. This is the tail measurement so i'm going to lay this right on the tail set a couple dots for your dot is at the back of this right here so i'll line it up with that and what i do is i just place it on the edge of the rail sometimes i'll go out but my main one is right at the edge lined up with the stringer line it up And then I just slide it over, do the same thing. Line it up with the stringer. My standard's inch and an eighth from the bottom rail. What I like to do is check them too. So I'll just, I'll literally, I'll just take this. And so we're on the outside of the line. Hopefully the other one matches, right? Come over here. There we go. So I know I'm in the ballpark, you know. Actually, that's pretty sick. So what we got here is we got your three and a half mark. 11. So I kind of wrote it on the board so you can kind of check it out. Um, is my daily routine. So I just got my firm plants where I'm going to put them. Again, this is the back where you line it up with your dot. Yeah, it looks good. It's actually still correct. <laughs> That's cool. For drawn boards, what I will do is I slide it back. There's a little mark here. You can figure out where you like yours and put a permanent marker where you like your Grom setup. Draw a template on there. Right now, we're going to the next one. We're going to do a um, twin fin set. Again, these are just stock. It's where I prefer them. Sometimes I've cut them out and I put it there and it was up an extra inch of fin marks. So it's nice to do it this way. Again, I like mine at nine and a half. Same thing, go right to the edge. If you like it on the outline, you can move it out the outline. I like it right on the edge. And so right here, the second one, or that's one dot, or I call that one. This is two, that's twin. It says twin, so I can, same thing. And I got my 20 mark. Now we're gonna do a, a quad setup or five fin. So I'm going to my do my basics 11, five and a half, three and a half. A 
line it up with a stringer. Then I'm going to go to my quad setting, which is in there, there. Slide it over. Is if you want to add a line. So with all the stuff that I've worked on through the years, this is the simplest tool. And it's really cool to have this for the public to check it out, get a nice angle, get your boards working pretty quick. For me, it's just, I find this is where my start is for all my board design. It's the basic, this part and my thinning, and that's it. Everything else. I mean, as important as it is, for me, it's just my fin settings. It's always the same, so I don't get a, if I want to experiment, I can move them anywhere I want. Thanks for listening, and I will talk to you later.